Hi, I'm Jane Moore. This is for Materials Evaluation Preparation, and I'm going to talk a little bit faster than I normally do with my students, so I hope you can understand me as I get through all this material. This is, I'm going to start with a picture file and the table of contents. This is the table of contents. There are various categories listed, animals, emergencies, emotions, family, food, idioms and expressions, nature, nouns, pronouns, adjectives, life after death, life skills, on the job, uh, senses, and prepositions. And under each category, if there is another file that I want to bring from another category that's applicable, though there will be a cross-reference. And each card, each file has a label on the back like this, so that I can tell which category it belongs to. One other thing I did with my table of con contents is I provided a pictorial reference. So really quickly, with one glance, I can look at a category and see every single picture that's in it. All right, let me show you a couple of the more interesting categories, ones I particularly like. This one, Life After Death, is to get the class to think a little bit more abstractly. I'm sure you might use this for advanced, but even for beginners you could um, think of different vocabulary. So many lessons with these pictures. So these are really some unusual pictures and just gets you talking about what happens after you die. Um, you can see these have a lot of different possibilities. So that's life after death. Okay, and another one that I particularly like is life skills. And that's just to help people think through what do we need to learn in order to be productive human beings. And of course we need to learn how to eat. That's very important. And then studying, reading, and again, you can think of all different kinds of grammar points, conversation, listening, all kinds of teaching that you could do, language teaching with this particular life skills. Now, you can also bring up culture points because in the U.S., one thing we do is a lot of is garage sales. So you could talk about that with this picture or organizational skills. A variety of different things. Learning to repair around the house. And then another culture point, depending upon where you live, what is a life skill of your particular country? And, you know, maybe you heard cheap. Maybe that's important to learn. So that kind of topic. One other one, well, two other ones I'll show you from our picture file. This is on the job. And this is just a variety of different jobs that um, you can discuss and hopefully some of these topics you can get a little bit more personally involved, get the students engaged because the pictures are really thought-provoking, hopefully, and get them engaged by relating them to their personal experiences and find out a little bit more about them as you teach. And one more for the authentic picture file, or excuse me, the magazine picture file. I'm not quite awake yet here. This is senses, so smelling, seeing, tasting, feeling, or touching. Um, again, to hopefully get some reaction from your students and get them engaged and begin to talk um, or write. This is very, it's a fun category. Okay, so you can use this all different ways. Uh, and we'll go on to the authentic materials. Um, I have, again, a table of contents listing the categories. And the categories here are banks and banking, brochures, calendars, comic strips, coupons, food labels, forms, grammar points, and these are taken from headlines from newspapers and they are questions do and does and the be verb 
Then grocery ads, idioms and advertising, letters from editors and letters to the editor, maps, menus, and prepositions. So I'm pulling two to show you since we're running out of time here. And one is maps. And I like this because there are a variety of different kinds of maps that you need to get around in this world. And if you decide you want to see a sporting event, you might need to know how to negotiate the um, ins and outs of a stadium. So here's a map of the stadium. We have lots of Asian students, and this is a map of our Japanese friendship garden downtown. And then the bus route. We have rather lousy public transportation, but we can discuss that. You know, that can be a topic of conversation. What kind of public transportation do you have in your country? How do you get around? Do you use it? Talk about, I used to use it. Great grammar point there. Okay, Arizona State University, main campus. Again, if they decide they want to do additional studying, they can get around there. We live, our school, excuse me, is in Glendale, and we do a lot of class trips and events, and some of those lead to downtown Glendale, and so this is a map of the historic section of downtown Glendale. One more of the valley, all of Phoenix, and the last one is of Arizona and just on a larger scale. So leading north, and this happens to be Prescott, a very touristy, fun town that a lot of students like to visit. So that is our map category in Authentic Files. And one last one I wanted to show you because it involves reading, and I think it's important to try to engage all the skills when we use these files. These are letters to the editor. And each card is from a different magazine or newspaper. So the students, you could uh, have them in groups. And each group could work on one letter and they could compare. Or you could do, the, do it individually in terms of reading and discussion questions, um, teaching strategies, reading strategies. So just a variety of letters that they can choose from and that you can work with. And that is the authentic materials. Thanks for listening and visiting my electronic classroom. I can't wait to hear what you all have come up with for this project.